Hope Network is hosting their Bridge Walk for Autism this evening. More than 1,000 people are set to join uh, together to walk across the Blue Bridge, followed by a sensory-friendly night at the Grand Rapids Public Museum. Storm Team 8 meteorologist Sarah Flynn is live there now, and Sarah, it seems like a pretty good night for this event. Yeah, that's right. That bridge walk is going to begin here shortly at the Blue Bridge. Right now, we're in the Grand Rapids Public Museum, which will be uh, where a sensory night is taking place after that walk is over. They've made some changes around here. I'll tell you about that here in just a minute, but we'll start off with that forecast as people are lining up at the bridge. It is a gorgeous night for this. Plenty of sunshine out there. Temperatures holding fairly steady right now in those upper 40s to low 50s across the board. Mid 50s, actually, for most of us. Tonight, we'll dip down but stay uh, well warmer than we were last night. No freeze warning in effect for this go around and those winds are very, very calm. Soaking up the sunshine for now. Also with me uh, joining us here in the museum is Rob Skydema. He's the director of public programs. You're hosting this event here tonight. What changes have you made around here? Yeah, so we're happy to be partnering again with Hope Network. We've done this for better part of a decade and it really started um, a conversation internally about how we could make the museum more inclusive for all. So what guests coming into the museum tonight will see or will notice and maybe they won't notice but we have turned um, sounds that are loud down or off so you won't hear the the clock chiming you know every hour um, exhibit spaces that are a little dark we've raised the lights up so in our habitats and our newcomers and our Anishinaabe exhibit all of those have been kind of more leveled out uh, we also made a big change with our planetarium show where we have doors open lights up a little bit and people can kind of come and go and experience that as well. Um, another thing is that we've partnered with Culture City for the last several years, um, and they have put up all over the museum signs that will say this is a quiet space or this is a loud space, so you just need to be aware. Uh, so throughout the, the museum, there will be these slight changes. Um, steam engines turned off, um, and yeah, the, the lighting in, is a big part of it as well. Awesome. And what time does this go till to tonight? Till 7.30. So 5.30 to 7.30, and everybody is welcome in. Awesome. And you know that over 1,000 people are outside on that bridge right now, so it should be a pretty good turnout here shortly. Good weather for that. Weather this weekend looking a little less optimistic with rain and storm chances. Ellen, we'll have more about that coming up. For now, we're live at the Grand Rapids Public Museum. I'll send it back to you. All right. Sarah. Good to see you. Good turnout there. Thanks, Sarah. Sarah. Thank you.